Alrighty guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be glowing up before college. I thought it was a good idea to start the video looking like this. So that you can see the potential in the end but basically I just need to um, do a lot of stuff in my hometown before I go to college because it's an unknown area it's it's weird things that I need to do so to start off this video the most exciting thing we will be doing is going to the dentist Ooh. as you know you got to go to the dentist every six months or you're disgusting and basically it's time for me to go and I should probably go before I go to school because I'm not gonna go to a dentist in California because I'm also underage. I'm 17. Do you have to be 18 to go to the dentist? I don't know. But I'm going to the dentist right now. And that should be, just be so exciting for you to watch. Let's get going. Let's go. Hello, you guys. I'm back. Do my teeth look better? Mm, let's not. Let's not talk about that it was a good appointment um she complimented my skin i feel like i never know what to do with my tongue when i go to the dentist so that's another thing it's honestly about it i'll see you next time that i'm doing something related to glowing up hello you guys it is august 10th and we are on our way to get a shot for me it's like required by my school i think most schools i think it's a men is it meningitis I'm getting a meningitis shot in like 10 minutes. I'll see you whenever I'm dying. I'm so scared. I can feel my heart beating like really fast. Where are you going? San Diego State. Cool. I can't look at it. You did it. Okay, you guys, I did it. I was a big girl, I got my shot. I don't know if it was just like me because I wasn't trying to look at him because I wasn't trying to look at like the needle or whatever going into my arm. But I feel like he was either, he was either trying to like be social distanced or not be in the video because I swear he did the shot like in a lunge position. <laughs> he seemed like he was trying to be like so far away from me and he was like, <laughs> but it, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was probably like a 4, 3. Like, I, I felt it, but it kind of just felt like he stapled my arm. It didn't feel like it went inside. I don't know. But we did it. Got to send that off to my school, and we'll be good. Hello, you guys. Today is August 11th, which means I have one more week until I leave for college. Today, what I am doing is I'm going to get my hair done because I feel like that's a must before college. I've had this appointment for like two months now and I, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm running a little bit late though, so let's go. It's a little bit blonder, not too much. I don't know if it's just because like I've had hair that looked like this before, or if I just don't remember what my hair looked like, but I feel like it's not too different, you know? I like it. I think it's good. I'm trying to go like really blonde, maybe. We'll see how long this lasts. I'm very indecisive, so. But we're trying to go very blonde, so this was just like the first appointment. Let me know what you think, but if you don't like it, then don't let me know what you think. Okay, I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru, so. I gotta go. Hello you guys, thought I would check in again on this video because I've been shopping for the past four days. As you know, I already did like a dorm haul and all that stuff. So I have mostly everything, but I've just been getting little things every single day. I'm trying to get everything together, but I thought right now I would give you a little haul of everything that I've gotten. It's not gonna be too exciting because it's just like all the finishing touches and little stuff. I'm trying to get a little bit more decor. So yeah, to start off, I got two of these big white pillows to put behind my bed because I figured that I'm going to be in my bed a lot considering all my classes are online. So I'm going to need some support to like lean against the back of my, like sit up on my bed or like sit up on the 
wall if that makes sense like i'm gonna need some support if i want to like do work in my bed and all i had was like little decorative pillows speaking of decorative pillows i bought these and if you watch the dorm hall you're probably like you already have pillows why'd you buy more my sister kind of influenced me to get those pillows and they're not really my style and it was just bothering me so i went out and i got these and i'm so much more excited so i got these two and I also got this to go in front of them. And then I'm gonna put the big white pillows behind them. And I'm so excited about that because that's more my style, less color basically. It's also good because now I will be using the other pillows in like the living room area. I asked my roommates and they said to bring them so those pillows aren't going to waste either. Now some decor I bought. Um, I ordered this, I think two months ago, but you know, everyone wants it. So I got this mirror and it's literally so cute and really helps to tie in like all the boho feels because my room's kind of like boho, but not like 100%. I feel like with all the elements in my room, I like to have something that like matches it or like ties it together. For example, I got this basket to put on top of my little, I bought this dresser, but it's not a dresser. I'll insert a picture of it, but I'm just gonna put like my Keurig and then this on top of it. And inside of here, I'm gonna have my plates, bowls, mugs, cups, K cups. These kind of complement each other. And I just think it's so cute, but like, I wouldn't just buy one or the other, like I had to have something that matched it. So to tie in to both of those, I got this plant. It's, it's huge, but it has this bottom. So it ties into the other vibes I was getting. Basically my sister was like, oh, do you want this plant? And I was like, I don't know what it's gonna match. But then we found this and I was like, okay, that'll just tie everything together. And then very not fun. Um, I got like these command, the Velcro, attachments so to like press things against the wall and not like have a hook and then i got these for whenever i'm on the road because we're driving to san diego okay last but not least i just got a ton of school supplies so actually my boyfriend got me this because he asked my sister what i needed and she said school supplies so he got me these paper mate pens they're the felt tip pens and i love these and then he got me some highlighters i got socks because fun story, I go to my mom's room for socks all the time because for some reason whenever we clean socks, they just automatically go in my mom's room. And so I bought myself my own socks. I do have a Keurig, but I'm gonna try to make iced coffee. But if I ever wanted something hot, I got this cute mug from Target. It's just a little pop of color because I don't really like color, but this is just kind of faded and dull, so I like it. And then I got more command hooks for my towels. You don't care about that. I got this five star, five section notebook so I can just have all my classes in here. I don't know how many notes I'm gonna be taking on paper, but I'm gonna try to study a lot and like do good in college. So yeah, I got this just in case. Next I got the Pilot G2 pens. I was deciding between these and Papermate, but a lot of people talk about these and I've used them and I think they're good pens and I just needed a couple, so got those. And then I got the best pencils, the really fancy ones. I feel like there was such like a status. These were like a status symbol in elementary school and all the cool kids had them and I was like, I can't get them. I don't know, I like these. And then I got sticky notes. I just got these for whenever I'm on Zoom and then my teacher says like an important date or something and I need to write it down and remember it. I feel like having post-it notes will help me remember like dates and special times and events and stuff like that. And last but not least, I got hand sanitizer. So I've just been gathering a ton of stuff, a ton of little things, and I am getting really nervous and stressed and I kind of don't know how I'm gonna pack for school. I leave in four days from now, it's the 14th, and I'm leaving on the 18th, driving for two days, moving in on the 20th. Yeah, I'm going to go put this all in my room where I'm keeping all my stuff and I'll see you when I see you.
Hello you guys. Today is August 16th, so I leave in two days. Basically today I've been packing, almost got everything packed. I'm trying to fit everything into my Jeep and then we are driving my car all the way there. So I just showered and I shaved my legs. Also, I was going to use self tanner, but then I just decided to use the real sun. So I've been tanning for just like a little bit every day. So right now I'm going to do a face mask. I'm using this one, which is the one I used in the other video. My skin has been breaking out so bad because I was on my period this week sorry so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows I think it's actually really funny that I'm getting ready to like go to college and see no one so all my classes are online also something that happened today I got my full Whataburger meal so Whataburger plain and dry with cheese fries and a Dr. Pepper a 32 ounce Dr. Pepper I literally have not eaten like my full Whataburger meal in like two or three months and I haven't had Dr. This was my, this was like my third Dr. Pepper in 2020. And if you know me, you know that I drink, I think I literally would drink three Dr. Peppers in one day. And I've only had three Dr. Peppers in this whole year. And it's August. I've come a long way. I feel like doing my eyebrows is really important because if I'm wearing like a mask, that's like the only thing they can see. So I don't want those to be ugly. Now I'm going to go show you where I keep all my stuff and that's in my brother's room. So be prepared. So we have these two, which are full of clothes. All these boxes literally goes all the way up to there. I'm not taking that lamp. That was just already in the room. All of these bins, plant, these boxes, that bag, that map these we just have like just a little bit more that we're packing and i have to try to get this all in my jeep so stay tuned for the moving vlog that's coming up the week after this video all right you guys so i'm just gonna wash off my mask and then i think i'm just gonna work on this video pack up some stuff make sure i'm not forgetting anything and yeah that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for all the videos coming up because i'm literally so excited for them I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>